Oh, I love myself a good troll, so I want to see the cane of Burna myself, just because that's the trolliest item I can think of. And I love oh, well, you're going to have a very bad time. <laughs> a very bad time. Also, we know that uh, that very bad time is not going to include a sword from Uncle, otherwise his sprite would have had it as he left. Well, there, that's all kinds of fun there, but that still leaves the possibility of Cane of Burna, although I wouldn't say no to either of the uh, two magical rods, Fire Rod or Ice Rod, also fun to play with. Those are very fun to watch. I wouldn't say they're fun to play with. Uh, Hammer is also amusing. Bombs is kind of boring. I've seen a lot of bomb starts, and truth be told, it's a... Uh, uh, bombs really makes it kind of easy. Well, there's a magical item. That's a Cane of Samaria. Cane Samaria is definitely uh, good to see early, whether you're getting it from Uncle or not, because uh, that means you you have access to getting through Turtle Rock, you have access to getting through most of Misery, uh, the parts of Misery Mario you need it for, and Cane of Samaria tends to be one of those items where people are just like, wait, what? where is it? How? You know, it tends to a lot of times be that one item that people can't find. It does tend to be that, however, having access to Cane of Samaria very early lends itself to the logic being, uh, how should we say, a little bit wonky. So you that's say wonky, uh, I say Schadenfreudian. That is very true. Uh, also, as our uh, racers go through this practice princess saving mission, they're going to be looking for a, at least one bomb drop to get three items in the sewers. Well, we already have that one bomb drop from Tear over on the left side of our screen. Uh, Mario, on the other hand, does not have one quite yet. And I'm going to do my best to make as many Paper Mario references as I can with Dr. Mario, because if you haven't played Paper Mario, uh, I believe it's the second one, uh, the running gag throughout that entire game is nobody can get Mario's name right. All right, as we have the shovel in this first chest, that's going to uh, enable an otherwise trolly spot to be checked relatively early. I think they can combo that straight in with the uh, race game. I can dig that. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Oh, uh, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> not sorry at all. Uh, Marty using very good effect of that uh, Samaria block. Just getting the guards to keep running into it, getting those hits that way. You know, that to me I, I find interesting it is, you know, you see a block on the ground. You know it's there. If you're still gonna run into it and, and you're gonna you're gonna find the edge every time it's a kick in the edge of the table, you know it's gonna hurt, but why do you keep doing it? Um aggro. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. We've all been in that argument. Uh anyway, it looks like Marty is gonna stick to the uh two pot strat for ball and chain guy and Tiru on the is also going to go with two pot and another 20 bucks that's i want to say that's the fourth 20 secret we've had yeah it's got to have been four 20 one, secrets in hyrule and a one and a one rupee drop here the big uh, difference here is you'll notice Tiro having five bombs as opposed to marty having zero so uh that's definitely going to make things interesting if marty doesn't get one on the sewer escape here tier is going to have a slight advantage especially if we see something relevant you know that makes things easy like we'll say boots in the escape oh for sure uh marty he does have plenty of magic and the only enemy he needs to kill is the key rat so he might be tempted to spend a bit of magic either in that sewers room or the one with the key rat to try and force a drop a key rat? Is there anything like a bilge rat? Uh, it's closer. It's closer to a crypt rat. Okay. Okay. What about a relentless rat? Uh, no. There's there's only there's a uh, not an an infinite number of uh sewer rats. Okay, fair. Just wanted to check. Plus you can't. Plus you can't uh, throw stone into all of them. <laughs> Needs more ripple effects. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, Marty is a little bit ahead, just through a little bit better movement tech, but again, lacking that bomb could be a slight problem. It could also be an explosive one. Well, there is also this uh, chest in the sewers, though we have not found the map yet, so that is, there's a one in five chance of that being in this uh, last chest he gets to. 
Using the Cancelmarian block to take out some of these ropes, hoping for a bomb drop, gets a fairy instead. Great, but not what he wanted. Why did it have to be ropes? And, oh, right, the sewers key. We hadn't found the key, so that had to be in that chest. So Map is either in the sewers or in the sanctuary. I mean, Map of the sewers in the sanctuary you know, just makes the most sense because the paper wouldn't get waterlogged there, right? You would think. As uh, Tiru, uh, nice work with that Samaria block. And there we go. We get the eight bomb drop there. We uh, I missed it initially, but uh, you have eight, so we definitely got that. So uh, neither one of our runners is going to be missing the three lovely items in here. What we have here is, oh, we've got some plastic sword. There's our burrito and a heart can, or a heart piece. So all kinds of fun there. Yep, uh, that is definitely going to solve a lot of the really early problems. And Marty, very, very thankful he got that drop for what was in there. I mean, obviously, the uh, map and the piece of heart not being that great, but uh, the fire sword more than making up for it. Yeah, I hear something about needing a sword to beat this game. Yeah, that's the thing about Zelda games. You kind of need a sword, unless you're Cobra. No, you still need a sword to beat the game. I mean, it's kind of coded into the into it. You, you actually do need the sword to beat the game. You can get to the end without one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It. Fine, fine, fine. Anyway, <laughs> uh, our runners are, uh, looks like, headed up to the Lost Woods. It's going to be interesting to see if any of them make an early map check. Perhaps, but we are going to potentially see what's in the Lumberjack Hut, and we're going to get a tree pull. <laughs> Oh, full magic from the tree. That's useful. And arrows from the hoarder. Uh, slightly yes, less useful, at least for right now. Yeah, we're going to get that lumberjack check right now, and it's just going to be a 20 spot, so I'm going to not required to get that. The other interesting thing about that full magic is it would have been infinitely more useful had they not found the fighter store already. Because being able to just pull the tree and get a refill on your Cane of Samaria would have been fantastic. Yeah, it would have made that a lot uh, a lot less stressful, potentially. But uh, no stress here. They're just going to pick up these two items here in the Lost Woods. Or maybe not. Both of them passing on that first big 20. So, remember the last time we did commentary here? If I remember correctly, didn't everything have a 20 spot in it? Pretty much, except for this one, which has just a single. Well, also, one given, of... given that both our runners are at 80-some rupees, I'm really surprised neither of them took that 20, because that's what you would need to get the 100 rupees for the bottle vendor. Yep, but uh, we did pick up another uh, set of the 5 rupee drops from another tree pull, so that puts Tier at 91. And uh, well, yeah, he only have... took two of those nickels. Yeah, but because we're going to have the rest of the money that's in the blind set, so we're going to be fine. Right, uh, there's enough money between Blind Hut and the Well that they can get to 100, to 100 that way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, of course, you know, one of the biggest concentrations of chests here, especially in the early game, is here in Kakariko Village. Uh, so let's see what we're going to get on the start. I always love seeing what's in here because it's going to definitely dictate our routing so far. Just a heart piece, 50 rupees, yet another 20, and more arrows. So Blind Hut serving up absolutely nothing of use to our runners. Uh, not in terms of progression, a little bit more cash, and uh, just another 20. Remember, TG, everyone's got just 20 bucks. Hey, I'm not going to complain. 20 bucks is 20 bucks after all. Yes, it is. Uh, doing a little, yeah, Tyr will have just enough bombs to be able to uh, finish the normal. Uh, Kakariko and South Shore Loop, although that three spot definitely gives them a bit of a cushion in the well. And uh, these three items here. Oh, there's a fire rod very early. And the Master and Sword. And the Master well. Sword. Okay. Well, right. well, that puts Aghanim on the table. Not that we're going to go there immediately, but that definitely puts Aghanim on the table. <laughs> It may put him on the table, but uh, you won't be able to see him because they don't have the lamp yet. Meanwhile, 100 rupees will get you a tiny shield from the bottle vendor. 
that's slightly more expensive than it was in Ocarina. I want to say it was about that much in uh, Link's Awakening. And blue mail in the chicken coop. Okay, this is where I have to make an aesthetic com a comment here. Turning VP's hat purple or blue is fine. That's one thing. And we have, uh, ooh, triple crystal here on the overworld. Looks like we had five, six, seven, if I saw that correctly. Yes, it is. The Tower of Hair and Eastern Palace are our uh, pyramid fairy crystals, five and six. And there's the bow! Bow in the well, tavern, my goodness! Well, no Fletch quests here, everybody. I see what you did there. Now, what, uh, I was gonna say, what I was going to say is, the blue outline on Terra, I mean, it just, it, I'm so used to her glowing red in Final Fantasy VI, this blue outline is just, it's weird. It's weird to me. Well, then make sure that Marty picks up red mail, then it'll uh, look right. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely need some red mail action happening here. Well, it could be here at the race game. Marty's going to take a look. No, and, oh, we got a hook, hook shot. shot. Okay, that's, that's going to see play. Absolutely, and right after this, because we have the shovel, we can head right over to um, to the field and take care of that as well. Usually, as you mentioned earlier, shovel is one of those out-of-the-way things you have to get much, much later because you never get it. Yeah, so it's going to be really interesting after the shovel what our runners are going to do. They could go with the normal South Shore loop through and do the uh, dam into... Um, potentially Ice Rod Cave, but with that bow, Eastern Palace, especially with it being a Pyramid Fairy Crystal, seems like a very much more attractive option. Yeah, we already are going to have our first route variation here as Tiru are going to opt to not save and quit. Probably going to go ahead and play with that shovel as Marty going to go ahead and save and quit and beeline towards Eastern Palace. Yeah, uh, cannot blame him one bit. Tiru is going to dig this item up, so he's also going to check the stun prize, and it's a bomb. That's not completely useless, but uh, Marty is going to pay uh, Sahasrul a visit, and let's see what this shovel digs up. Just a bomb upgrade, so no harm, no foul. Marty going to go ahead and benefit from this. Uh, he'll probably go back and get it later, but right now that definitely does give some advantage. Are we going to get a Sahasrul check? Get green pen. It's going to be at Swamp Palace. Okay, so that's right. interesting. That's interesting. I like seeing Swamp Palace as a pendant. Uh, not necessarily green pendant, but ooh, hell. <laughs> but um, we have Ether and some money in the back of Sahaswa's hut. Uh, Tiru, it looks... Oh, Tiru's gonna combine a... No, he's... It looks like he may be making that uh, Eastern play as well. He just comboed the, the uh, shovel play into it. That's decent routing. Nothing wrong with that. We're going to make our way into Eastern Palace. Of course, we are looking for three absolutely delicious items here in Eastern Palace. And we are going to potentially have to do a small little sequence break uh, simply because uh, we don't, have, we the don't have the lamp yet. But uh, both of our runners, I'm sure, can memorize the rectangular room that they would be sequence breaking in addition to the slightly less rectangular room with the eye, with the uh, eye bores. Uh, let's just put it this way. I'm horrible at this game, and I can do Dark Eastern Palace. <laughs> yeah, so this should be pretty free for both of them. But uh, three items, I'm sure that they will not waste any time in having to uh, double dip for any reason. They've got the bow. They've got plenty of arrows. They... Single rupee as the first chest is not exactly a welcome sign. Yep, so that's two of our three of the trolliest items we can find here. We've got two, the two single rupees, and then we have my personal favorite item, the single arrow. Isn't the single arrow in vanilla at um, Moldorm 2? It has been so long since I've played vanilla or watched vanilla or seen anybody open that chest in vanilla that I don't know. Fair enough. It, I'm sure Chad will tell us. In any oh. case, the second chest, the uh, chest that Marty hookshot, hook, hook shot it to, hook shot to. What's the past participle of that? Uh, he pulled himself there. Okay, good enough. <laughs> and there's the map. <laughs> so uh, it is going to be the vanilla big key spot. So technically, the rest of this dungeon is going to be out of logic. But technically, I don't think either of our runners care. 
And wait, wait. Did you just try and apply technical terms and technicalities to a randomizer? I I might have, technically. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, for the rest of this race, I'll be taking applications for a co-commentator, one who knows to not apply, try to apply logic and technicalities to a randomizer. So please go ahead and message me on Discord with your applications, and I will review them uh, post-haste. Uh, you didn't tell them about the internship program, though. Shh, shh. What they don't know can't hurt them. <laughs> our, our runners don't know a lot, and that's hurting them plenty. Well, that's because they just need to find out where it all is. They know plenty. They can beat this game in a randomized setting, which is more than I can say. Same. Marty is going to kill all these enemies, not willing to do the damage boost strats to get this big key. It's a little bit slower, but definitely safer on health. With only three hearts, sure he got blue mail, but at the same time, why risk it? Absolutely. Might as well be safe. That's one thing I've learned playing randomizers and doing randomizer races in tournaments is if you adjust what you know based on the opponent you're playing, you're going to lose every time. Stick to your game. And speaking of that, there's the fourth heart piece. Yeah, there's the fourth heart piece. Definitely helpful, but uh, still not bad that you play it a little safe. Is Marty going to go into the second dark room? But uh, eventually get the torch lit, and that'll make this a lot easier to getting this key. Yeah, well, that's a great room because you just walk in, just fire your, use your fire rod until you kill the things in front of you, then just don't hit any button, just keep firing straight ahead. You will hit that lamp just based on how the room's laid out. And Tiru having a little problem in the first dark room, down to one heart. Well, if but I remember reading the bio correctly, Tiru did say his favorite item was lamp because dark rooms suck. Dark rooms do suck, but it looks like he's got himself out of that one. Yeah, just goes to show you that we did, in fact, do our research and some of our homework, although most of us probably cheated on like we do in college anyway. Oh, did I say that out and, loud? As you do. Ooh, tear Ooh, take it. That, unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he was trying for that uh, clip that I was talking about, so Marty gonna pick up some more time going into the Armos fight. And Tears decided, forget this, I'm gonna prop, he's probably going to do the South Shore loop now. Yeah, I'm gonna opt to go ahead and uh, just. Ooh. Oh, but the mirrors at the Armos Knights! Oh, wow, that's oh. a sequence broken mirror, but that's gigantic. Yes, that is really, really big. It doesn't unlock anything yet, but just the fact that Marty isn't going to have to go back there, and Tiru is going to have to spend plenty of time at some point to go fish it up. He is, however, he could find the lamp here at the dam or in Mini Moldorm Cave that would allow him to uh, then return in sequence and pick it up, but that's a time that uh, he is going to lose, as Marty is following in his footsteps with yeah. that advantage. My question to you is, uh, once Tyrion goes back there and gets it, is he going to uh, reflect on his decision-making process? Uh, well, he's going to try on this his power glove, is what he's going to do. Well, always nice to have gloves, and what that's going to do is, with that uh, glove access, that is going to give Marty access to Dark World. Um... Oh, gonna, no. Yeah, it's going That, uh... Uh, he still needs he oh, no, no, no. Titan's I'm, Mitts or Titan's Mitts. I'm, I'm seeing different crazy things. Wow. Forget yeah. me. And that Power Glove is going to allow more sequence breaking up to a Death Mountain if Marty wants to do that. Because that would open up that would open up Tower of Hera as well. Yeah, because and I've got the mirror. Fairy in play. And Mini Moldorm's having none of Tiru right now, just pushing him off all of the ledges. But uh, Hope Shot taking care of business. Five bombs, full heart container, ha piece of heart that'll give him a free refill, uh, Moon Pearl, and 20 bucks. Wow, Moon Pearl, that's huge, especially for Marty again with that mirror. <laughs> yeah, that, because uh, he has to find Lamp. In For logic's sake, I think the only places uh, right now would be Zora and um, Zora, and Ice Rod Cave, and Aginas Cave. So one of those has to have the lamp. Not necessarily. 
because one of those could also have either the flute or a bottle and could open up other choices as well. All right, you're right. You're right, we never did do Sick Kid, did we? Yes, we did not. And I remember I did a, uh, a, remember commentating a scene in the last tournament where uh, Agina had Book in the last possible spot. Book uh, opened up Desert. Desert had the first bottle. Bottle Kid had Moon Pearl. Wow. And there's 300 bucks for Tiru. Uh, is not going to is not going to walk out. So fake flippering is not on his mind at all. Marty is doing this uh, lampless Death Mountain play. Let's see what Tiru's gonna be up to. Uh, if it's anything like me, up to no good. Oh, well, he may be up to no good with an old man in tow. Perhaps, but uh, the big thing here is Tiru does have the 500 rupees required to go ahead and get Zora's item. Uh, but we have uh, but Mario he, yeah, dropping off not... the old man. Yeah. And just another 20 bucks. So uh, that's not... Uh, that's not. Oh, with the hook shot, yeah, Marty, in addition to being able to do uh, Tower of Hera, is also going to be able to... Uh, he's also going to be able to transition to uh, East Death Mountain and do uh, Paradox Cave. Yeah, my big thing though is, is Tiru, or Marty's got twenty bucks for helping the old man get home. If you know that's all it took, you know, I work in a hotel of helping the drunk. Oh, and the tempered sword on top of Spectacle Rock. Wow, and Marty can get that too because he's got. Yes, mirrors. he can with that mirror. Wow, this uh, you know the the items in the sea may not necessarily be free, but combat in the sea. Twenty two minutes in to have the level three sword. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I found in V twenty nine. You either are going to have, um, you're either going to have a hard time finding a sword to where sword may be your go mode item, or you're going to have a relatively free bugger sword. And Marty absolutely makes sense to go straight into uh, Tower of Hera here. It's another crystal. It's the other uh, crystal to open up the Pyramid Fairy, in fact. And ooh, a big key right away. Yeah, that's always good to see. And again, Marty's going to have the easy time of Tower of Hera here because we have the mirror play. Uh, Tiru not going to be able to do Tower of Hera yet uh, because no access to it from the mirror side. We are just going to get an Eastern Death Mountain access because we still have Hookshot, so it's not a completely fruitless uh, play up here for Tiru. Plus, in his mind, if he can find the mirror up here, then... Well, he obviously he won't find the mirror or the lamp up here. This is sequence breaking. Uh, well, without the lamp, obviously we may he still find the we lamp. may still find the lamp up here because we could have uh, like Agina could have the ocarina, so lamp could still be up here. It is a possibility. All right, but uh, he's certainly not expecting to find uh, the lamp, and we know he can't find the mirror in here. As uh, three bombs in one of the chests. There's and book. There's desert the book. Access. We have All desert right. access now. But you do realize how much now because you keep saying we can't find lamp, we can't find lamp. I want there to be lamp. Just to prove me wrong, huh? No, just because I love Schadenfreude. <laughs> <laughs> Has nothing to do with you specifically, my friend. But oh, there's the Titans Mints. So there is uh, Dark World there's Access. There's your Dark World Access. There is your Dark World Access, absolutely. And that's, oh, there's my Red Mail. Okay, good. We're getting Red Mail Terra. I'm happy. We're good. We can move on now with our lives. And Marty taking very quick work of a troll dorm, all for a compass. And a nice bomb jump by Tiru. Yeah, fantastic bomb jump there. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be interesting now because, um, again, it still is a sequence break technically to get up here. So, I mean, the big thing about this game is when you do these, uh, these easy sort of sequence breaks, you know, the... Uh, memorizing the path to get through Dark Death Mountain, uh, memorizing the path to get through Dark Eastern Palace. Uh, the hard part becomes remembering what you've sequence broken, so what can logically be where. Uh, so without having you know the the lamp or ocarina to get up here, we're not supposed to have the Titan's minute, which means we, you know there, there's all kinds of that that knowledge going through your head of what did I do, what did I forget, and trying to remember what you have and what you don't have is a big key to running this game, especially if you're going to take the time to do all of these different sequence breaks. Yeah, at this point, the only um, at this point, I'm pretty sure. Either Agina, yeah, Agina would have to have either the lamp or something that leads to it, wouldn't he? 
Uh, or, no, it could be Zora. It could still be it could still be Zora because the Power Glove was in Logic. Correct. Power Glove was in Logic, so Hookshot was too. So yeah, it could be Zora, definitely. Um, we are seeing that, and our pendants are going to be Swamp, Mire, and Skull Woods. That is a very interesting set to have. Also, uh, sorry, uh, no Red Terra, unfortunately. Okay. Really? It's the red uh, male, and we make her yeah. yellow. That doesn't even make sense! Uh, bring it up with Vitor, man. I, I have no skin in this. I don't have skin in it either. I'm just pointing out the fact that, you know, it's... It, whatever. Yeah. Also, uh, Tyr just barely missing the uh, hookshot clip. So having to take the, the quote-unquote right way around in uh, this cave... Didn't we just have this discussion about applying technical technicalities and logic to the randomizer? The randomizer runs on something approaching logic. Yeah, 29 different somethings approaching logic. <laughs> oh, speak. Well, the logic says a uh, sick kid or would be available. They still don't have the lamp to to uh, complete that logic loop, as Marty gonna just void those blocks with the mirror. That's one of my favorite tricks in the game, because it doesn't matter who you are. If you have a mirror in a place that's not going to mirror you back, you can do that trick. It's one of the easiest ones to do. I absolutely love it. And those are the kinds of tricks that I love, uh, especially seeing things in Randomizer where you learn these, you know, these tricks like that that anyone can do. And that's, to me, that, that's what I love about Randomizer is being able to see, oh, hey, look, I can do that. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Um... As a 300 rupees, a bomb upgrade, a piece of heart in the hookshot cave, and oh, Tiru getting bodied. He's going to have to go and pick up that last one the second time. And so, a quick check, it's Bombos to get into Turtle Rock. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, interesting thing is we are an ice run away from... Uh, Ice Rod and Hammer away from being able to access Turtle Rock early. My question is, if you had both Ice Rod and Hammer right now, would you just do Turtle Rock to get it out of the way since you were here? Well, it, well, you do still need Bombos. Yeah, I said, if, if we had the access to it right, right. now, and you had it, um, would you would you do it right now just to get it out of the way? I don't think I would clear it. I would definitely dip it. I would, I would certainly check. I might go as far as like Mimic Cave. Well, since we're dipping things, my question is: chocolate dip or cherry dip? Chocolate, no question. All right, I'm glad we're on that same page at least. About time we found something we agree on. Oh, jeez. And uh, just a piece of heart on the floating island, so that's not going to be relevant. Tiru is heading to the desert area and Agina, so we will pretty conclusively find if it's the lamp or something leading to lamp here at Agina's cave. He's probably also going to take out desert while he's in the area. Yeah, I mean, we got the book, so there's no reason to not clear it. Yeah, for sure. And he has with the mitts. The only thing could stop him is if um, the boots are required. Das boots! So here comes the moment of truth. What are we going to get from our friendly neighborhood, Agina? And uh, interesting, Marty is... Going to Sanctuary, is this uh, going straight to... There's oh, the Ocarina, please. so that opens up the logic for everything else that Tiru has now. So that except means that... Except for, uh, except for yeah. the mirror and uh, what he got in a, in a Tower of Hera. Well, Those Tiru are good. still... Tiru. Uh, yeah, Tiru doesn't have the mirror, although I don't think there was anything relevant in uh, Tower. Uh, I don't... Just, uh, just Moldorm and the crystal he had. Yeah, but with that ocarina now, that means everything that they have except for the mirror is now in logic. Yeah, uh, Gina still is not. Marty gonna turn in this uh, this bottle. Gets fifty bucks out of it. Yep. So yeah, that means we could have. Uh, it means we're more than likely gonna have. Uh, I mean, Dark World Lamp is a thing. Desert Lamp is a thing. Yeah, it's entirely possible. But Marty is going to be making this uh, Dark World check. So it's going to be interesting to see. He's probably, if it were me, I would do uh, Thieves Town before Skull Woods just because Pendant vs. Crystal. 
Tiru finds just the map, and he's apparently gone? Well... And he didn't that... even check what uh, was on the torch to see if he needed boots. Uh, by default, he's going to, because it's either going to be a small key or the big key. He's going to need boots no matter what. Right, since there was the map there. Yeah, so... Yeah, the uh, desert is boots locked, absolutely. And to answer your question uh, in uh, chat there, Finger, yes, um, you can have a mirrorless uh, seed. Mirror is only technically required to, for one thing, and that's to defeat Swamp Palace. So technically in this seed, with Swamp Palace being a green pendant, uh, if there's nothing we need on the pedestal or the green pendant, technically this would be a mirror, could be a mirrorless seed. Uh, uh, but, and you get on me for technicallys. Right, but uh, I, when I say technically, I mean that because we don't need the mirror. We have the mirror, but we don't need the mirror. That's the technically part of it. That's a technically that actually makes sense. Well, uh, also making sense, everyone please stand and remove your hats for the singing of the Swag Duck Anthem. We've already determined I wear visors. Close enough. But uh, not much to go on here in the front half of Deep's Town. Just the Cane of Burna, as uh, far as uh, good stuff goes. But it looks like Tiru is also going to be making this uh, Dark World check. Yeah, but the uh, again, the interesting thing here for Tiru is that Tiru now is on Logic. Marty is still off logic because we do not have the ocarina. So uh, that makes things a little bit more interesting, especially on Tiru's side, because uh, we are now on logic for everything that Tiru has. So every decision now is being made with, you know, as much full information as you possibly can have. That's very true. Getting a nice profit from the chess game. So that's a little bit of a benefit. Also, uh, I mean, Marty may not be on logic, but Marty does have that uh, tempered sword and the mirror and uh, uh, two crystals to tier zero. Yep, so we have interesting. So tier up to go through and take out all the chests here in the village of Outcasts first before jumping in head first into Thieves Town. Whereas Marty's just like, eh, I'm going to dungeon dive. I mean,. Dungeons still have a, a... Oh, speaking of, Dungeons got Butter Sword. Uh, it's going to be tempered for Tiru when he makes the check, but what did I say? The game is going to give you a pretty free... Sword. It's also going to give you free half magic. I see what that room did there. I think I broke Alge. Uh, no, I'm just trying to figure out how I should just know. I'm, I'm That's blocked. probably the best option is just no. <laughs> uh, well, Tiru has decided the best option is uh, Alec Baldwin's digging games. So let's see what he can dig up. Why is Alec Baldwin going to be involved in this, huh? Yeah, I don't make, I don't uh, put the names on the tracker. I just read them off. So what you're saying is you don't make the memes, you just spread the memes? Yep. <laughs> and speaking of, the meme of leaving bombs behind is alive and well. I don't know if that was a meme, but it is one now. It's, ex it's an explosive analysis, that's for sure. Also, potentially of note, uh, Morty, I believe, may be leaving an item behind here in Thieves Town without the hammer to check the uh, big chest. Well, that's the uh, risk you take when diving Thieves Town without the hammer. Yep. Uh, Tiru is going to take this frog on a small world tour. I assume he's going to check old Stumpy and then might do Hype Cave before up and A, but probably just going to go right and up A right there. Or not. Meanwhile, Marty in the blind fight seems to be on script through the first phase. Yeah, the blind fight is interesting because it is a, a scripted fight in the sense that you need three sword slashes in each of the phases to kill blind. It does not matter which swords uh, you use. You can use spider sword. You can use you know you can use the uh, swirling lag spiral of the cane of Burna if you want, which is my preferred method. <laughs> of course it is. Anyway, just a heart container as the pickup for uh, 
defeating blind. So, Tyr's gonna check Hype Cave. Maybe we might actually see something worth hyping up. Well, either way, Froggy is going to court in here. Uh, we're getting ourselves a nice, delicious world tour. Uh, but so far, we've got just some rupees, just some bombs. Oh, hey! Oh, the hammer, that's pretty high. There's, nice. the affer there's the aforementioned hammer. <laughs> and then now, now that puts, um, that does now put Tower of Hera into the Tiru's logic. Yes, which it does. Apparently, that's where we're beelining to. <laughs> yeah. I uh, can't say as I blame. He still got the dwarf with him. Though. This is great. No, <laughs> uh, so for both uh, of you know. realize, uh, I have to do something He's first. Like, Wait, there's this bearded man following me. What am I supposed to yeah, do? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure it's going to let him in the tower like that. Uh, Marty is going to uh, also take this Froggy World tour, and I presume. Hopefully, check Hype Cave sooner rather than later. He's gonna do digging game first, of course. So, am I the only one who loves the fact that Tiru finds hammer that immediately goes and returns the blacksmiths who use hammers? Well, he got a, a big bomb upgrade out of it, but uh, not exactly the most worth. But now, I presume he's going to. Th oh, no, he's going. Hmm. Oh, he's going back. He must be thinking about going into Thieves Town? Uh, Thieves Town, or potentially hitting up um, Skull Woods afterwards and doing a pedestal check, maybe. But yeah, Thieves Town makes the most logical sense. Right. I mean, with I Hammer, we, yeah, with Hammer, you can complete Thieves Town completely. So yeah, yeah that is very true. Uh, the pedestal check doesn't make as much sense. He doesn't have the mirror to uh, check Ped right after finishing Skull Woods, though, like Marty would. Fair enough. But yeah, we are going to go ahead and we're straight into rocking into Thieves Town. Or Steve's Town, if you prefer. So I'm trying to think what can be on the ped that really blocks us. Ice, uh, rod. ice rod. Ice rod's easy. Um, depending Bombos could, if it's not required for Meyer. Yeah, depending on what's Meyer, Bombos could definitely be on there. Um, I think you need... I think you need flippers to get into Meyer. Flippers to get into Meyer? Like, I thought... it. I thought there was a part you had to swim through, otherwise uh, they could be... I thought otherwise they could be on the pedestal? Uh, no, because you need flippers to get through Swamp. Oh, Swamp Palace. <laughs> uh, for some reason I... Yeah, I saw Skull Woods was a pendant, for some reason I thought that meant Swamp was a crystal. My bad. Oh, and this is anyway, why... Anyway, Marty is going nice to... Things. Marty, uh, picking up Gary's lunchbox while he is uh, here, the mirror enabling that check. So he's going to take the lunchbox instead on a bit of a world tour. And uh, he's also going to be able to check the Bombos pedestal. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it's always interesting to see, you know, what's in the lunchbox. And hey, we have a uh, we have our first bunny sighting of the game. We have got Vivi who turns into a cat from Chrono Trigger. I still don't understand why the character from Final Fantasy IX has a uh, bunny sprite that's from Chrono Trigger, but oh hey hey oh. hey! <laughs> uh, so Cave Forty Five paying off once again. We got boots, and um, that means that Eastern Palace, you know, a mirror is actually required here in this seed. Uh, not necessarily to beat a dungeon, but to get the boots, and we know that boots are required to beat desert. So in a roundabout way, yes, it is required to beat a dungeon. Yeah. All right, oh, the answer question, also, Ranger. Uh, Loot was Agena, Hammer was Hype Cave. Marty also, uh, after checking out Old Stumpy, is finally going to get around to that dig spot and see, yeah, nothing really lost from digging that, from waiting to dig that one out. Uh, here's a question, interesting question, since we like to, you know, you like to break up the technicalities and the logic. How is it that you have the sharp end of a hookshot can stab into those flowers and pull you down, not a problem, yet when you slice them with your sword, they, you know, shatter like wet paper? Uh, that is a very interesting question. I'm an accountant, not a botanist. Well, then run the numbers on it. Uh, the numbers say it's weird. <laughs> Touche. Marty is going to presumably do this, going to do this uh, Bombos tablet check, probably route that into 
uh, going through and getting Desert Palace knocked out, as well as a Guinness Cave for the flute. I would say that would probably be a good option here. And yep, down the ledge we go and up to a Guinness Cave. Hello. Why we're not using DOS boots, I have no idea. Uh, it's one of those things, until, if you pick it up really awkwardly, it can be a weird thing to, uh, to, uh, remember that you have until you start using it. But Atiru is also not going to check the big chest. Yep, so, uh, because, uh, Thief's Town is one of those that can logic block itself, uh, the small keys in the big chest. Okay, yeah, that must be it. All right. As I believe, uh, I actually believe the big key can be in the big chest of of a swamp because it's not needed for uh, clearing the rest of the dungeon. Correct. And uh, one of my favorite things of this game is the blind pun, and that's actually one I haven't seen of gardeners like to spring into action. That's uh, definitely not the worst one I've seen. But Tiru, not having too much trouble with Blind, despite getting a little bit off script, takes down the Master Thief. My favorite pun I've seen was one that people read fast and confused the heck out of them. It was, uh, Meyer is Ether, Quake, or Bombos. Yeah, Meyer requires, Meyer requires Ether, Quake, or Bombos, and people... Think read it e as either Quaker yes. Bombos, and then it was yes. Ether. Like, what the heck? Game's lying to me. <laughs> and we ain't got no Ether either. Either is the problem. And yep, there's that big key on the torch. Also, bonus points if you uh, know the uh, if you know the movie I just quoted. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to not have my bonus points this time because I don't know. All right. Uh, Tiru might have some bonus points from this uh, hammer peg cave check if it proves to be uh, something useful. Well, let's take a look. It's in a book. Uh, it's just a heart container. But Tiru is going to go ahead and pick it up because there is safety in numbers of heart containers. And the number of the day is apparently 10, because that's how many containers he's got. He's also going to take this purple chest and probably do the same uh, Bombos routing. He'll pick up his boots out of Kane 45 and likely book it straight back over to Desert Palace. He has no boots, he can't. He will if he checks Kane 45 on his uh, tour towards... Uh, how? He's uh, got no yeah. mirror. Oh, that's right. So this is probably a hammer cave check into, yeah, probably a, a bumper cave check. Oh no, he's uh, going to the Skull Woods. Interesting. This is some weird logic, weird routing. Yeah. Uh, Doc finding um, nothing really useful here in desert, but is going to finish off the rest of the dungeon. Are we, get, <laughs> are we getting treasure chests from Skull Woods? <laughs> We're getting the treasure chest through Skull Woods. For what this reason, is... I don't know, but this is great. Hey, this is worth hey, it. You know, going through dungeons is hard work. Sometimes you just need to bring your lunch with you. <laughs> I mean, it's what? Quarter till four? Sometimes you're just hungry. Yeah, you know, you know, a, a dungeon delving snack? Perfectly fine. This is great. My question is, though, you know, what did Vivi pack for lunch? Oh, well, she's got the fire rod in case it needs to be warmed up. Yeah, we definitely can do that. I mean, and if it needs to be pounded out a little bit, we're going to crack some, like, you know, pistachios or something. We got the hammer. Yeah. Uh, getting this key out of the room requirement here. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see. I Hopefully Mafia doesn't steal it. That'd be terrible. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> I, this is great. I mean, and Tears got break up. A, he's got Tears got a bomb we're, jump. We're, we're gonna lunchbox lunch bomb jump. Oh my god, <laughs> lunchbox bomb jump. Oh my goodness. Uh, Marty's headed over to Lamo. <laughs> uh, Tears apparently not. Decided they're not <laughs> going to. Oh, the lag's throwing off his bomb jump. <laughs> so he's uh, 
He's gonna try get, yeah, he's just gonna do the intended way th to the big chest, it looks like. Yeah, but oh my gosh, this yeah. is great! <laughs> this wow. might be one of my favorite things I've ever seen! <laughs> this, I, this is absolutely worth it. A uh, piece of heart at Landmola. Uh, Morty's got, or Marty's got his fourth crystal, and, uh, uh Tiru, uh-oh. Okay, there, there we, we go. go. There, there we go, we got the lunchbox back. We almost, we almost, <laughs> we got the back. lunchbox we back. We almost lost our lunchbox. <laughs> and save and quit. Uh, Tiru <laughs> is apparently, <laughs> is apparently broken green leaf. Oh boy. Uh, developing the metagame before your very eyes. Marty is. Oh, uh, interesting. Is Marty going to finally do. Oh, Marty's gonna do a mini Moldorm cave! <laughs> yeah, four, yeah, 46 minutes. Oh, no, he's uh, setting up a fake flipper, maybe? Uh, probably gonna check. Ice Rod Cave and the fake cave flipper? And fake flipper, yeah. Uh, so Tiru yeah. finally dropping off the lunchbox. No, we're just getting some fake flippers from Marty and Tiru as well, so we get double fake flipper action happening. But oh my god. <laughs> the lunchbox. Oh, and Marty's just gonna go out. straight to Ice. Might as well. Yeah, he's not mm -hmm. gonna bother with uh, any of the. With uh, breaking the logic anymore? No, I mean, yep. But I mean, you, I mean, yeah. and Hobo and the waterfall chest are going to be out of logic, but Zora, the uh, master con man himself, will still be in logic. Uh, I'm, I'm still losing it over bringing our lunch into Skull and, uh, There's the cape at the hobo, so if Bumper Cave had anything of note, that would be interesting. Yeah, so uh, cape also, it does make the uh, Ganon fight at the end significantly easier, especially with half magic. Yeah, that is going to be a lot easier than it otherwise could have been. As Tiru also going to take a peek on the island, just three bombs. Yeah, just three bombs. Tiru's got oh. one bomb. Yeah, <laughs> so that is a good three bombs point. is kind of a, uh, impressive. But uh, we do have some moon pearl action, so you know what we're about to see, don't you? Yep, a little water walk. The uh, Marty sets up this uh, double big Stalfos kill. That's really cool to see. And yeah, uh, just I, I always five bomb, that one. yeah, bomb cap upgrade and a piece of heart. So not the most impressive wishes there. Hey, I always wish for more explosions. And of course, Tier is still stuck with just the one bomb. Ooh, oh, there's, there's bombos. bombos! Flippers are so required. Yes, they are. Wow. Yeah, I mean, and the water walk glitch is not going to let you uh, kick that up. I believe if you have boots, there is a way to or to uh, orchestrate and continue the water walk, but uh, Tiru doesn't have them. No, oh, so that means, yeah, so wow, that's fantastic. We get vanilla flippers, we'll have them here, but oh, Ooh, whoa, no, we got ice rod. Dead. So that's so, Ted dead. Pedestal, pedestal dream is dead, everybody. Yeah, that's it. You can't even have, like, the lamp there because you would logically require it for Misery Mire. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, that's definitely some information there. Uh, but, yeah, this is uh, interesting. We had uh, a seed where we might not have needed... Uh, uh, well, we would still have needed flippers to get to uh, Ice Palace, but... Right. Um, try and think. Um, is Tiru... No, he's... Try and think of what Tiru's play here is. Tiru's going to Hera. Right, that right. Hera is available to him. I for a minute I thought he he was uh, making the play to Spike Cave. I mean, he still could after Hera. So, the interesting thing here is that there's those first couple of chests in Palace of Darkness, which could contain lamp, or. Are we gonna see a lamp in Misery Mire? Oh goodness! 
the, like, the idea of just Lamp in Mire is just so... wow. I but mean, Tyr there are... Is, yeah, yeah. Tyr is gonna take on a Tower of Hera. Shouldn't be that hard. I mean, there's the big key right there. He's got the hook shot to uh, easily get over to the big chest upstairs. And uh, even with, and he does also have Tempered Sword, so this should be pretty easy as far as um, actual combat's concerned. Yeah, but there's a Moldorm involved, so it's never easy. Uh, I mean, the sword definitely makes it a lot harder for him to get pushed off. Uh, it's going to, uh, it's gonna, yeah, it's never easy, but it will be easier. And uh, Marty is just realizing, oh crap, I can't complete Ice Palace. I have no. Yep, you kind of need a hammer. He never checked Hype Cave. Nope, he did not. So both of our runners missing something kind of vital. Uh, Tiru still technically on logic. Yeah, he is. Uh, got that all figured out. Marty's gone to Sank and trying to figure out what his logic is from Sanctuary. Where's his next play? Well, uh, if you're Marty, you have Boots and Mirror, so you're playing to check Bonk Rocks, King's Tomb, Mirror Ledge. Yeah, and uh, he's also close-ish to um, the Pyramid and uh, Pyramid Fairy. He does have the crystals he needs for that. And Marty looks like dashing straight back over towards uh, Bonk Rocks as Tiru makes very, very quick work of this Moldorm. Yeah, that Moldorm did not stand a chance at all. Tiru does still have to go back to Eastern at some point, as well as uh, get the boots off K45. And the thing is, because he's checked Old Stumpy in Grove, uh, well, he doesn't have Mirror to be able to check it. You know, it would be fantastic if Lamp wa uh, was here on uh, the Ether pedestal. Oh, good grief. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Nope, it's just Quake. It's just Quake, which uh, could be required for Meyer, but Meyer, enti it's entirely possible. Meyer's just a blank, and I'm pretty sure our runners don't want to take that gamble if they've got other options. Speaking of other options, Tyr is going to is going to check Spike Cave up here. I mean, he's got the cape, he's got the cane of Berna, and the hammer. Might as well do it. Yeah, and he's got a potion. Oh, no, a cane of Berna alone is uh, sufficient for... Is, yeah, you'll need, you'll need a potion if you only have cape. Yeah, yeah Marty, you need hammer. Here. Yeah, you either need a hammer, you need definitely need hammer, and you either need cane of burna or cape plus potion, or cape plus half magic, in order for um, logic to say that um, a spike cave is in line. As Marty, it looks like is making the moves over in the direction of hype cave. There's nothing else in this direction for him. That nope. has to be his play as Tiru is finally headed back towards Eastern Palace. Or is he yeah. going to pod? I think he's going to... Yeah, it looks like we're going to hit get a little bit of a pod Yeah, he's check going here. to pod. Well, uh, I mean, it makes sense because in the logic right now, Eastern Palace is not completable. Uh, but, you know, pod isn't completable either, but there are chests here at the beginning of pod that would allow you to potentially, you know, be okay. Check the lamp and all that. So, logically, this makes sense. Yeah, you know, the problem is uh, there's been a lot in this seed that hasn't been logical at all. As Marty finally picks up his hammer. And I wonder if he's going to go straight towards um, straight towards Pyramid Fairy since he's as close as he is. And it looks like, yeah, that's exactly his line of thinking. Mm -hmm. He'll also be able to check a Pyramid Ledge here. I mean, you might as well, but the, uh, the thing here is that, you know, Pyramid Fairy... The only thing Pyramid Fairy can give you that give us that we need here is flips. Yeah, because uh, uh, yes, lamp is like you would have needed lamp to get through a uh, eastern. 
Yeah, so Lamp cannot be here. So yeah, the only thing that Pyramid Freak can give us that we need, that we need, is flippers. I mean, it can still have silver arrows. I mean, as vanilla Yeah, that as that silver arrow is really the only other really useful item. Yeah, I mean, as vanilla as that's going to be. You know, this is definitely an interesting seed. We're also going to get interesting is one word for it. I can think of several others, none of which are safe for this randomizer channel. That's why we use the term Schadenfreude. Okay, uh, Marty, not even going to bother checking ledge. Might check it after. And what do we have in here? Mushroom. Mushroom could lead to flippers. Mushroom could lead to flippers. It can't lead to lamp, but it could lead us somewhere. Uh, mushroom also, if you're doing that, you may as well, uh, check catfish on the way. And we still technically need lamp, but you know, we technically need lamp and flippers. Uh, we also, oh, we definitely know those. Technically, we need ice rod and bombos, uh, but we know where those are. Right. And Marty so, I mean, is he, going to join Tiru here in a pod. Right. So what we what we really need here is, you know, we are a flippers away from go mode in a sense that the game can be completed with well, once flippers are acquired. Because flippers unlock Bombos, which is the last thing you need. If you're going to get Bombos, you're going to end up with Ice Rod because it's over at Zora. So we are basically we're in Schrodinger's go mode where we are, but we aren't in go mode at this point because we know everything we need. We just have to find it. Yeah. There is still the lamp that technically our runners need, but neither of them need need. Semantics. Yeah. And uh, I believe Marty, because he has the boots, there is... Um, I believe there is a way to either continue or reset the walk on water glitch that would allow him to go uh, and uh, get the Bombos medallion from the ledge. I don't know the exact mechanics behind it, however. But I believe it's possible uh, the, with what he's got. The mechanics are it breaks the game. That's the mechanics. I mean, there's a lot of glitches that break the game, let's be honest. Wow. Well. You say potato, I say arbitrary code execution. All right, then. So Tiru is going to go through this uh, dark pod area. Did not check any of, of the uh, the uh, horseshoe or the maze. So it's very, there's a lot of items that could be there because he's still missing He's missing Bombos. He's missing the lamp, which he knows he can't get. He's missing the boots, which aren't here. He's missing uh, the flippers, which uh, could be here, maybe? Um, flippers could be here depending on lamp's location. Yeah. I mean, the location of the lamp is what uh, is... I hesitate to say it's stymieing all this, but it's making it a, there's some really awkward routing. When isn't there awkward routing? It's randomizer. That is very true. So you're going to uh, kill all these turtles really quickly. And uh, that was very well done through the worst room in the game, getting through the rest of this uh, dark portion. And he's just got a, a great run up to a Helmuth King. I mean, worst room and, uh, in the game. Marty is. Worst room in the game is Dark Mire. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, not with uh, Mire Rod Strats. That room's fun now. And Marty's setting up the pause buffers for this uh, hammer jump. And gets it, but only 20 bucks. But now we are going to see Dark Maze, so uh, keep in mind here that if we don't see the animation on the item, uh, we're going to have to take a look at the inventory to potentially remember or take a look at what it is. But we are going to have just a big 20 here from the Elmasaur King. But Pod is going to be completed there for Tiru. So again, we're in that interesting state again where there's only a few places left Lamp could be, and that's at this point, you know, the early stages of Mire or buried uh, in Skull Woods. 
Yeah, it's a really awkward decision. Tiru is going back in, and while we see one of the items that Marty picked up, it is the a piece of heart. I uh, believe that's the item in the northern part of the maze, so the item in the southern part of the maze, he must have picked up and we didn't see it. It might have been a small key. No, nope, he sure has zero he had the small key coming keys. in. So it's well, not he... flippers. It's... Yeah, it's uh, like, did he come in with zero small keys? I wasn't paying attention, but we know the mm -hmm. most important thing is it wasn't flippers. Yeah, and he also is going to have two more chances to check here as a. Uh, Kiru is also going to be making this check. Well, they uh, have with the fire rod. The fire rod, so that's yeah, going to help us out to a make it bit. a little easier. Nope, we to get see. key and compass. Yep. Oh, it was the fire shield chats pointing out. That was yep. what was the other chest. Well, that's yeah. Well, we, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not wrong there. And then that leaves just the harmless hellway left. So we have uh, no recourse for needing any more of the items here in Palace Darkness. So again, that leaves us... I mean, I mean, technically, technically, we got some ledge action happening. I mean, it could be through Bumper Cave. You know, yeah, Bumper that, Cave, yeah. Cliff Top. Uh, no, Cliff Top Cave is not in logic because you need mirror to get to it. Um, yeah. could it be Mushroom? Nope. Like, I think... You mushroom the lamp? Uh, no, because mushroom was an ice palace. Right, right. So he did need to. Right, he needed a different glitch required for that. Yeah. So the, the, this lamp, I go. I, it's funny because before we started here, we were actually having a conversation with Tiru, uh, just getting uh, some notes in order about pronunciations and all that. And um, if you took a look at the questionnaires that the runners filled out, uh, Tiru had said his favorite item was the lamp. So we were having a nice long conversation about the lamp. What was it? About twenty minutes before we went on air, if that. Uh, sounds about right. Tiru and, has also picked up his fire shield. Yeah, and now this entire seed is based on who can find the lamp. <laughs> oh no, the mushroom. Uh... Mushroom was in Pyramid Fairy, which did require right. uh, Eastern, so right. well, yeah, that's I, not going to get us the lamp. Right. I knew it was, I knew Mushroom did something, so Mushroom could get us flippers, but Mushroom can't get us lamp, because it was mirror blocked, not anything else. That's what it was. So Tiru, uh, what is his, oh, he just took this for the health refill and is going to flute somewhere. Uh, looks like we're getting the Eastern Palace dive. He couldn't mirror it back, but we're going to get our mirror here after the Eastern Palace. That's very good for Tiru, because that's going to open up Das Boots. That's going to open up... Um, uh, well, pretty much... Going to, yeah, going to open up a lot of possibilities for him. Also, he he's at a health level where he finally feels safe um, making this decision. Meanwhile... Marty getting stymied by this crystal switch here in uh, the dark part of Eastern. All right, so we have a question uh, accompanied by a pun, which caught my attention. Uh, we were asked to enlighten somebody on why is the lamp required? Well, the lamp is, uh, obviously, it lights up dark rooms. There are dark rooms in Eastern Palace. Uh, there's... Dar Eastern Palace, Palace of Darkness, Misery Mire, and Turtle Rock. So the lamp is always going to be required because at least one of those has to be a crystal. Yep, and the game uh, doesn't assume that you can see and navigate through a room in total darkness, so therefore you need the lamp. Uh, in this case, the lamp is required because we're going to make our way through Pal uh, Eastern Palace to get the mirror at the Armos Knights. In addition, you, you would need the lamp to go through this dark part at the end of Palace of Darkness to get the um, to get to Hellasaur King, which is also another crystal. To say nothing of uh, Turtle Rock, 
and uh, its infamous uh, King of Samaria maze, which you're really, really expected to have the, the lamp for. I mean, King of Samaria maze isn't as bad as Dark Mire, just because, you know, you can look at a map of Samaria, I mean, of the uh, Turtle Rock maze, and be like, okay, I know my timing, I know when I have to turn, we're good. Uh, Dark Mire is probably the worst of the four. Also, uh, chat pointing out that you may need a fire source either for desert or for uh, the basement of Tower of Hera. And if you can't get to the fire rod without getting those, then the uh, lamp would be your only other means of lighting those torches. Also, yeah, true. Also, you kind of need a fire source for Ganon. Yeah. Um, yeah, you do kind of need to... Uh, get rid of his whole darkness shtick. As uh, Marty is going to mirror out and oh, he's just going to mirror so he can flute away and let's see what he decides to do here. Um, Gotta go oh, back and finish gone, Ice Palace. Finish Ice Palace, yeah. So then the question would be, well obviously he's going to have to get his Ice Rod and Bombos from Zora, which means he does need to find Flippers. Well, it doesn't need to find flippers because you can do the double uh, fake flipper storage or the double water walk storage, which from what chat was explaining involves doing the walk on water state from ice rod cave, hitting fake flippers in the first time and then storing the second one. So yeah, it's a bit convoluted and complicated. We're just going to go with we need flippers. Yeah. Probably the best way to do it. And we know that they can't be here for, well, the obvious reason. Mm, something about having to swim to get here. And something about having to swim to get here. But we do have a, a pretty good looking. Uh, oh, I'm about to say, I thought we were going to get a nice quick kill there, but there's the mirror. Uh, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and get the crystal there. Tiru finally picking up his mirror at uh, an hour, seven minutes in. Uh, again, near that mirror for both of our runners right now is still technically out of logic. Yep, until they find that lamp. If they find the lamp. So now Tiru tanking a little bit. Let's see what he decides to do. Well, that puts us a couple of options. You know, with Mirror, yeah, it looks like we're going to get our, all of our, uh, our mirrors. The Pyramid Fairy check. check. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, we're going to get all of our mirror checks. K45 and all that. Uh, Alexander, we don't know where the lamp is. Uh, that's, uh, that's the big thing. Uh, Marty, once again, trying to set up this bomb jump, did have a lot of trouble with it the first time. Yeah, so there we the, go. Yeah, so the fascinating thing about this seed right now is Tower of Hera and Thieves Town are technically, right now, the only two dungeons that are logically beatable because the boots require the mirror, which require the lamp. Boots are required for Desert Palace because the big key is on the torch. Lamp is required for Eastern Palace and Palace of Darkness for the aforementioned reasons. Flippers are required for uh, Ice Palace here, just for, again, for the aforementioned reasons. So that's the fantastic part about uh, Link to the Past Randomizer is logic says you shouldn't be, shouldn't be doing what we're doing, but the players say logic be damned full speed ahead. <laughs> That is a, probably a very, very astute way of putting it. Oh, Marty yeah, we also have to, to check head back. That yes. Yeah, so Marty, once he beats Cold Stair, will have completed dungeons with logic said he should have only been able to get two. Very, very interesting stuff. A chat point out, yes, we could beat Skull Woods with current logic. But uh, I'm uh, Tiru found nothing in his abbreviated uh, lunch tour. It was a working lunch. It was a, definitely a working lunch. <laughs> uh, stay rusty. Yes, uh, the hobo on the bridge has been checked. Uh, Tiru is making the uh, catfish play. I thought he's pinning on the cape. Just uh, make transit easier. Are we going to get a... Um... Yeah, it's pro he would he would think he is going to uh what is he up to with this? 
probably no good. Uh, oh, he drained his, he drained all his magic. I wonder if he's trying to set up are for a can of Samaria glitch. Are we similar? Or are we, yeah, are we gonna get a bat check with fake powder? Yeah, that's that would be. Yeah, it seems to be what he has in mind for that setup. Yes, yeah, so, I mean technically, catfish here could have something for us. Yeah, oh, catfish Marty. Has been, Captain has been in logic for a while, just another heart. Yeah, Marty, yeah, Marty. missing the uh, the hook shots twice there for a big chest in Ice Palace. I, he had the mirror. Couldn't he have just voided those blocks? Uh, you're in a dungeon, no. Oh, right, you're in the dungeon. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's what. That's why. I, that's why I just watch and commentate. I don't play this game. Yeah, but you and me is both, going to catch in that mushroom. Interesting. He... Uh, is he? Does he? Oh, think I he's... see what he's doing. He's doing yeah. fake powder, and he's gonna he's gonna leave the portal and rec and um, record her back. Okay, that's cute. A small key for Marty. So, does Marty want to take the chance of double dipping this ice palace? Well, he doesn't need to. Answer is pro Hey. Right. Yep. So yeah. yeah, here is this uh, fake powder play. Yeah. I mean, unless unless that big chest is silver arrows, there's no need for the triple dip because Marty's already dipped once in here. There's zero need for it. Yeah. So there's the void you know, of magic, and here's the mushroom to. So let's see if this uh, mad batter play has anything. Just one. <laughs> Big surprise, just 20 rupees. Yeah. Marty now going with the Meyer play, so we're going to see. Is uh, the first half of Meyer going to we gonna have some land? Oh, he also can check uh, Meyer Shed. Meyer Shed. Yep. Yeah. So Meyer's going to be. Yeah, it's Ether in order to get in. Yep. So, so uh, yeah, Meyer is wow. available to our runners. By the way, these blocks, these blocks we can, uh, we can mirror out of the way. Yeah. But nope, we're going to get uh, the Met first service. Oh, Tiru, putting his putting his portal so perfectly that the uh, the duck just drops him straight there. That's beautiful. And just a heart container is going to uh, ooh, he's out of empty bottles, so he's going to have to uh, just he's got two reds, so he just drink one then refill. Oh, he's going to use that for the magic refill, right? Because he had to. Uh, you have to be on empty magic for that fake, for that fake powder. Marty is also going to turn in the mushroom. Absolutely. Uh, you know, not thinking of, to do the fake powder, but uh, fake powder is not going to uh, really change matters. Yeah. So this is fascinating. Now, what do we have left to do? I mean, we've got to finish Skull Woods, and we've got. Uh, yeah, Meyer we've got to finish Skull. Yeah, uh, we've also ha we also haven't checked a Clifftop Cave, but that's still out of logic. Our runners are gonna check it anyway. Uh, Marty is finally doing the uh, is finally doing the Zora stuff, so he's going to find that. Oh yeah, he really kind of need to find where those flippers are, unless he manages to get this uh, this uh, double fake flipper storage, which he's probably not doing. Yeah, no, this this is fascinating because, you know, uh, for the longest time, we thought that Marty had a commanding lead just because of that super, super, you know, early mirror play. But the lack of lamp is, you know, brought T right back into this. Now, Marty still has a lead because of Booth, because of having Desert and Ice Palace, you know, already taken care of. Yeah, but, Marty still has a very significant lead, but it's not a commanding lead to where, right. where he can only lose if he completely chokes it away. He's still very much ahead, but that's not the same. So Marty does have the information. He absolutely needs, um, absolutely needs to get the, um, needs to get the flippers somehow. Yep. Looked like he was thinking about trying to fake and realized that that's not going to work. And yeah. Tiru is making that play back in Skull Woods. I mean, it, it makes sense. I mean, Skull Woods, one of the two places left for the lamp could be. 
Um, Marty may not have a... Uh, he may be doing a spike cave check now, or else he might not have remembered that it's Bombos to get in. I thought he saw it. Uh, he could also be going up to check the ether tablet. Yeah, that is also uh, that is also something else he can take a peek into. Yeah, but this this whole thing has been uh, fantastic. Wouldn't it be great if? <laughs> oh, there's the riot shield. Uh, wouldn't it be hilarious for Tiro if, because he took a lunchbox tour and couldn't get the everything he needed, that the lamp was in here? Oh boy, I, I, we need to ask him about that because that was that was comedy gold. I don't care what anyone says. Murray's got Quake. Uh, that's not the medallion he needs. Uh, oh, Tiro's got his mirror. This is a oh no, it it looks like it might have been a ped check. Not that it matters. Uh, Ped's dead. Pedestal is pedestal, yes. But we're gonna get the check anyway, or yeah, yeah. Yep, we're, we're gonna, gonna get, get the, the check, check anyway. anyway. So just to uh, get it out of his mind, peace of mind yep. is definitely uh, some or something, and just count cash. Yep, just a little bit of cash, cash. Hey, guess what? Everything's got twenty. Yeah, I mean, as far as Tiru knows, it could still have been the boots or something. True, true. I mean, that was definitely on logic. All right, so now the fun begins. Are we going to get a, uh, is it going to be a moth to a flame here that's going to get us what we need? Uh, it very well might be. There is also this chest with just a, another small key. A lot of small keys that he's found, and not much to really use them on. But he's got his uh, he's got his fire rod out, and Marty seems to be headed in that same direction. I mean, it definitely makes sense if you have two places left to check. One's Misery Mire, one's Skull Woods. I'm probably checking Skull Woods first. I mean, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't is someone who thinks, or someone who thinks they're super behind and needs to make a stupid play to get back to parity? I mean, that I mean the the Meyer play is definitely a gamble you would make in that situation. And we see uh, Chrono Trigger Cat Vivi again. One of these days, we should really ask me, Torp, uh, what's the deal is with that? Yeah, but I don't want it to be too big of a catastrophe. Oh, we got hand of fate. Oh, Tiru getting grabbed by the hands, going down to Mothula. Wow. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, like, hand of fate there. It, gr going, yeah. The Wallmaster rolling deep to pull Tiru out of the hole. <laughs> yeah, so a funny thing about the wall masters in this game, uh, have you uh, been on uh, a certain website that shall not be named recently? Uh, <laughs> because in their Dark World bad guys uh, description, somebody had the where what the fun to put hashtag blame TGE next to the wall masters. Uh, I have not. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to give that website site. Is, uh, has something more than uh, a radio talk show this time. Yeah, but let's see. Uh, we're going to use some fire outsides. There we go. What is Moth going to give us? Drum roll, please. It is... Piece of heart. Piece of heart. So that means Meyer Lamp. Pretty much. And the tier bring the end of the Moth radio with nothing to show for it. Well, hold on, hold on. There, There, there is one other possibility here. Go on. Flippers are an early Meyer, and Green Pendant is Lamp. Oh, uh, no, because you would need uh, you would need the you would need the Lamp in order to finish Meyer. No, 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 no. Green Pendant. Swamp oh, Palace. right, oh, right, right, right. Meyer is the Red Pendant, and uh, but Tiru is making the play. Oh yeah, true. We can't. We need the mirror for the lamp, so it can't be in there. Never mind. I forgot about that. Because you need lamp for mirror to enter swamp, so it can't be. So yeah, right. no mirror lamp has. I mean, uh, lamp has to be in mire. Yeah, and the question is, are and well, flippers also have to be like 
Well, no, lamp doesn't have to be in Mire. Where else can it be, though? Flip. No, no, it doesn't have to be Mire, because no, flippers can be in Mire to get Bombos and have lamp be in early Turtle Rock. Yeah, there is uh, <laughs> There's a couple. There's a. Uh, because uh, the chest. The. Um, the Samaria ride that requires the lamp, the only things past that are the uh, laser bridge, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's. Uh... <laughs> I, I love the theory crafting of, all right, where can this possibly be? Go over every scenario in my head, and yeah, <laughs> the correct answer is Schadenfreude. Yeah, and Tiru still needs to at some point pick up his boots, because the big key is on the torch here in uh, Desert. Until he decides to make that trip over to Cave 45, he's not going to be able to finish that. Yeah, so this is fascinating that this again uh, it's an innocuous item it's a completely innocuous item it's an item but, that so many runners just take for granted with yeah. good reason as uh marty finished up finishes up his moth radio hour but uh tiru is uh making the plays and i'm sure marty has to be thinking about it as well but 80 minutes in you're three and two. You know your opponent has to be good. You have to be wondering, is there something stupid I missed? Uh, the answer is, uh, I'm always thinking that there's something stupid I missed because usually there's something stupid I missed. And speaking of, uh, stupid things you missed. Marty never checked Ice Rod Cave. It's not going to punish him for it, but he is going to take that off his uh, potential things that could be a pain in the butt for him. Absolutely. Just a 300 spot. But yeah, this, this whole dichotomy has been absolutely fascinating. It really has. Man, they, oh, there's the, there's flippers. the flippers. flippers. So we could still have Lamp T-Rock. Yep, and uh, I'm a little surprised that Tiru is continuing to dig this mire. Uh, does oh right, he still he still needs uh boots. Right, so you might as well yeah, check the couple of chests you have left. Yeah, he has to uh, continue to uh, look around for them. This is absolutely positively. Fantastic. I am so glad I got all my work done early and could commentate this. This is absolutely amazing. So much worth. As Marty is going to do uh, hammer pegs and might, if he thinks about it, uh, void out his magic and... Oh, no, he got rid of the mushroom, so he can't do that. And my dear, who just loves the boop, 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 sounds of doing the hammer dash. Hammer peg dash. Oh no, everyone loves that. Yeah. But yeah, this is wow. So yeah. Flippers open up Ice Palace. Yeah, Marty is still, I think, in the lead until such a point that Tiru finishes up Desert. Yeah, the one good thing about Desert is, uh, especially at this point when Tiru goes there, Tiru's going to be in Go Mode. So Tiru's going to be able to do Go Mode Ice Palace, Go Mode Desert, which is going to shave off a lot of time from what Marty had to do. So the one good thing we know now is that Lamp cannot be in Mire because you've checked all the items that are not uh, Dark or not Lamp Block. So now at this point, uh, that does put Lamp in Turtle Rock or Mimic Cave. Yeah, I technically, yeah, Mimic Cave, I, everyone treats it as part of Turtle Rock. Technically, it isn't. Uh, Tiru is going to ice. Uh, well, you're jumping in here, are we going to ice? Or are we going to get Bombos? We're, we're, we're going to get Bombos. We're going to get Bombos. We're going to get Bombos. And the a real annoying thing for Tiru is um, a lot of these checks are ones where 
or uh, the important item is in a position where he's done all the other stuff in that area, so it seems to me to have to go back a third time to have to make the additional check. Marty is, uh, is, no, Swamp's completely out of question. What is his thinking with uh, this play, I wonder? I... Uh, did he, oh, is he, is he maybe having to check Catfish? Oh yeah, he didn't check Catfish. Yeah, he didn't right. check oh. Catfish. He did check, uh, he did check, um, Witch, but he didn't, didn't check Catfish along with it. Tears got his Bombos. And since you cannot use the flute in the Zora area, he's just gonna up A out. And so yeah, here's the Turtle Rock play. Yeah, so Turtle Rock, wow. Like, I mean, at this point, at this point, uh, neither of our runners need the lamp anymore. No, but the they fact don't. that in order to get by the logic of the game, the fact that you had to uh, go into a pendant mire to get the flippers, to get access to Bombos, to open up Turtle Rock, which has the lamp, which is required to get the mirror, is fantastic. And the mirror is required to get the boots, which is required to beat Desert because the key's on the, on the, on the tower. <gasps> yeah, okay. I was just making sure. Breathe. Greenleaf, breathe. It's so underrated. Yeah, it really is. Marty is going to Mire. Uh, this is going to pay off. Uh, so he goes to Mire, picks up this uh, these flippers, gets Bombos. He's in go mode. Technically, he still he doesn't need, he probably doesn't need need the lamp, but the game expects him to get the lamp out of. I assume it has to be in Turtle Rock at this point. Uh, Dark Ranger, Tiru's in trouble if the if the tower big key is boot locked. He's in trouble anyway because the big key in Desert Palace is boot locked. Oh, we do have a bird toss from Marty as he heads into Mire. Yeah, but here we go. We are getting our play into Turtle Rock now. And uh, again, at this point, the lamp, we, we've been talking about this lamp the entire time. Now, the lamp at this point is not strictly required. We were talking about in a sense of what the logic is calling for. So at this point, all Tiru needs is to go check Cave 45 for the boots and Tiru will be in go mode. Just like as soon as Marty picks up the flippers, he'll be in Schrodinger's go mode because he knows where the Bombos medallion is. He just has to go get it. So again, we, we've hyped up the fact that we're, we're looking for this lamp when we don't need it, but it's still one of those things where it's fascinating that technically from a logic perspective, a double dip, we're not going to say a double dip, but a, a, a turtle rock dip is required to get the lamp to get the mirror to go back through all that. Yeah, it's really awkward that you would, the game expects you to at least go through, if not fully clear, Turtle Rock before Eastern. Marty's got his flippers, so he is immediately out of there. Right, so if somebody wants the the confusing version of what happened, here it is. Flippers and Meyer lead to Bombos on Zora Ledge, which opens up Turtle Rock, which has to have the lamp. The lamp logically blocks the mirror at Eastern Palace Armos, which blocks the boots that are at K45, which blocks the big key in Desert. In addition to that, the flippers block uh, Ice Palace, and uh, the, the mirror blocks uh, Tower of Hera. Well, no, the mirror doesn't block Tower of Hera because we can right. They can they can backdoor their way, and you're right, my mistake. But I mean, yeah. So it's one of those things where, if you're playing this strictly by logic, <laughs> if you're playing this strictly by logic, you probably have one, maybe two crystals at this point, and you're wondering, okay, WTF is going on. Uh, if I'm playing this strictly by logic and this isn't a tournament race, I've already said I'm done. I'm going to play something else at this point. <laughs> that is also very true. So Marty is going to be headed to Turtle Rock in go mode. And uh, is probably, at this point, I think 
once again has a commanding lead, especially if um, Lamp is in here somewhere. At this point, I firmly believe uh, that the race is Marty's to lose. He still could, but it would take a it would take a lot of uh, things to go wrong. Well, we have uh, something called falling to Ganon. Yeah, uh, it may not be Zelda one, but the dungeon that Ganon that Ganon standing in is, is always the great equalizer. <laughs> and there's, there's the, the lamp, lamp in the finally. vanilla big tea chest in Turtle Rock, ladies and gentlemen. I know I love lamp. My question to you is: Do you love lamp? Uh, I think we all love Lamp now, or at least we appreciate it a little more. <laughs> oh, this is just great. So Marty, assuming he, uh, assuming he plays like he's not in go mode, we'll find it and we'll definitely be in go mode. Tiru, however, still needs the boots. That's holding up everything for him. Yep. And he's gonna check Mimic Cave for him. I mean, you might as well. Yeah, he has. Yeah. I mean, he still could find Silver Arrows that could give him a, him a little bit of time that can be saved. But yeah, the big thing that uh, really changed the dynamics of this, Tiru just took a ton of damage in the first dark room in Eastern and decided to peace out. Uh, Marty did not take near as much damage, didn't have the death in Eastern, and because of that, uh, had nothing stopping him from just finishing it on the first go and getting that mirror. All right, to answer your question, uh, Helion, no, you do not actually need Silver Arrows. It is possible to damage Ganon in his final form by slashing him, uh, spin slashing works better, uh, as he's just beginning to teleport away. Uh, so you do not need Silvers to kill Ganon, it just makes it easier. Yes, it's uh, four Silver hits, or since both our runners have a Tempered or, or the Gold Sword, 10 or 12 spin slashes with the master sword it would take a uh, 24. yes and master sword silverless ganon is um what we like to call the masochist monday special boy is it ever as you're going on this uh final samaria ride that you would logically need the lamp for again very much doable in the dark just a lot harder Alrighty, uh, to answer your next question there, uh, Helion, uh, go mode items uh, in the randomizer are actually going to vary from seed to seed um, because the items that you're going to need for go mode are going to be the items that are required to get you to the seven crystals and any other items that may or may not be required to get you to items that you'll need to beat the game. For, you know, in this case, in this specific uh, seed, uh, we have Turtle Rock as one of our dungeons, so we need Fire Rod, Ice Rod, Cane of Samaria. To enter Turtle Rock, we need the Bombos Medallion. Um, we need the Ether Medallion in this particular seed because it opened up Misery Mire. Misery Mire contained the flippers, which we needed to get to said Bombos Medallion. Um, Mirror was required in here because uh, of Boots being in the cave south of the Haunted Grove. So, you know, I can go on and on and on describing what was needed, but go mode items specifically for every seed are going to be different. Yes, I believe the items that are going to be required for every seed regardless. Uh, you're always going to need the Master Sword, at least. You're always going to need the Bow. You're always going to need the Titan's Mitts. You're always going to need the Lamp. Uh, you're always going to need... Uh, well, technically, you're always going to need the Hookshot. Uh, there are a couple people who can hover and won't need it, but... Effectively, you're always going to need the hook shot. Uh, hammer, same thing. You're definitely going to always need the hammer. But yeah, so the list of go mode items, like I said, is variable seed to seed. And uh, once, you know, you, you, you start watching this a little more, and the more you get into it, the more you're like, okay, you know, that's what I need, this is what I need. 
you know, uh, it definitely takes. Well, I mean, if you just go back and listen to us talk about it during this particular matchup, I mean, we're sitting here trying to figure out what we need, and you know, we've done this before, and we're still messing up uh, things that could be where, could be here, because there's just so much going on uh, in a randomizer of this scope that you know. That's what they make trackers for. So you know, you know, you mark off what's where and what you have, and it'll tell you what you have access to. Can you go here? Can you go there? I mean, so it's definitely, you know, it's definitely an acquired taste, an acquired science. And uh, speaking of acquired sciences, Tiro has acquired the crystal from Turtle Rock, and Marty, based, yes, that chest was open. He does have his lamp. So Marty is officially, officially in go mode. Uh, as Claymore's are asking, uh, with needing the lamp, you are correct, it is entirely possible, and many of our runners, especially those at the higher echelons, they don't officially need the lamp. They can do all these dark rooms from memory alone. However, the game doesn't consider uh, players knowing these tricks when it determines whether or not you need items or not, and it also does not factor into account uh, the possibility that um, you're going to be able to pull these off. Because even though these runners can do these rooms in the dark, uh, they very much would rather have a little light to shine on them. Just makes it easier. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one other thing I want to get everybody to remember here, uh, or get everyone thinking about, is, um, well, a number. I, I want you all to think about a number, you know, I believe the numbers we're looking for algebra are between one and twenty-two. That uh, is correct. Uh, there are there are going to be uh, there's going to be a little game coming up shortly. Marty does have the key he needs to get through. He's on two hearts, but has uh, I believe he's yeah he's just got a, the two red potions. It's going to be still more than enough. Yes, but anyway, so these numbers we're talking about, numbers 1 through 22, uh, these represent item locations and treasure chests within Ganon's Tower. Uh, and the specific number we're looking for is, is of course, what number is going to be the big key chest? Yes, so, uh, there are actually 22 chests in the first part of Ganon's Tower. Yes, we do have Bob's Torch that may have there is Bob Torch that may have the key and isn't the chest, but there's also one chest in that area that cannot have the big key. Which is the big chest. Exactly. But uh, even on only one heart, also I believe... I, Marty may have also picked up a fairy in a bottle, which is why he was feeling so safe on a single heart. But... Uh, Marty has got his seventh Triforce, so let's start the let's start the wheel. Uh, anyone who has subscribed to the Speed Gaming Family Networks or has made a 250-bit donation is eligible to get this guess in and get onto the leaderboard. Uh, I don't qualify under any of those, but my answer is always number 16, so I'm going to go with number 16. Um, if done in the traditional sense of the word, where I say traditional, where runners go check the first two chests to the right, then do all of the left side, chest 16 will be the second chest after the Ice Armos, so which is what I usually go for, but I'm just going to say number 16, and we're going to go from there. I am going to call chest number 5, which I believe is the in the standard route, the second chest in the Stalfos room. Uh, you would be correct. Of course, you know, uh, the considering the way this seat is gone, it's either going to be uh, the first two chests on the right side or it's going to be the tile room, let's be honest. Yeah, let's be honest. Uh, so here we go into... Yeah, here we go into well, Gans Tower. Chest number one, small key. Chest number two, magical boomerang. Alrighty, so so far no dice here, and oh, we're just gonna get an immediate right side check from. All Marty. right, Marty must think that he is behind making this making this play. So uh, this is going to really screw with the numbers vis-a-vis -vis the expectation of where 
these chests should be compared to where they normally are found, but who knows, they may be... Um, you might get a guess in the right number for the wrong reasons. It's happened before. Yeah, so Tiru, unfortunately, has not checked K45 yet, so we are getting a full check Ice Palace here because we still don't have boots. And a chest 3, 100 rupees, chest five, 4, big 20, chest 5, piece of heart, chest 6, 20 bucks. So you are out of the running, my friend. Yes, I am, once again. Marty is going to pick up this key and bail. Tiru... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, uh, got the clip, but used the wrong item to clip. Gets it with the hook shot. So what is in this big chest? Just a small key. We have the map on the Bob torch, so seven is out. And Bob lives. Yes, Bob does live. For now, at least. There's another Bob. Yep, so let's see what's going on in the uh, Stalfos room. I'm going to laugh if you predicted the exact chest, because you said second one here. So at seven, we got number eight here coming up. Yep. Uh, number eight's gonna be. Uh, gonna kill some gets, stuff, yeah. stuff. Nope, eight's a small eight's key. Eight's small key. Nine, Nine minutes a minute minute minute. Minute. Oh, I got it! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, you're killing me, party! You're killing me! <laughs> That's absolutely. Come on, man. <laughs> that should totally count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's priceless. That's great. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Dark Replica, our tracker for today's match. The first one to call chest nine. Uh, so he is our winner for today. But, oh, good grief. <laughs> Just what I, I thought we had had more fun than we should normally have with uh, the Lunchbox uh, Skull Woods, but okay. I guess that's a thing. Sure. Sure thing, game. Yep. Now, somebody somewhere, I need I, I need some uh, some fan art of Vivi with a Mafula Lunchbox. <laughs> Can we get that, please? Yeah, I, I will I will work the appropriate people. I'm sure we'll have it by the end of the week. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tiru still has to go to Desert pa still has to uh, find where the boots are. And uh, that's... W oh, no. He's gonna go into Swamp Palace looking for the boots. Meanwhile, Marty in the gauntlet. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. Not quite. Are we gonna get a... No, it looks like we're gonna get a Bombos check first. Uh, we're gonna get a Bombos check. Uh, I mean, he, Swamp House is a place you really don't want to be looking. Uh, especially when you're not in go mode. It can take so much oh. time. No, no, we're heading. Looks like we're heading to oh, K45. Gonna, we're good. Gonna, we're going to K45. Got K45. <laughs> he's going to be in go mode. Uh, he's got just desert to go, but it's still such a huge uh, lead for Marty. And he's got to be kicking himself right about now. Well, he's got the boots to kick himself yes, now, so it's good. Marty threw the Landmola 2 fight at Tier Who. Uh, yeah, it's going to flip to 6, and this is going to be rather quick. Marty up to the 5th floor, gets the triple whiz robes. Twiple whiz robe? Oh, there's also this uh, 4 whiz room that Marty unfortunately has to 2 cycle. Unfortunately. Yeah. I'll be happy uh, if you cycle like that room. Yeah, fair enough. Tyr, uh picks up the fairy in the bottle on Desert Ledge for safekeeping. And the fall, pretty sure that was intentional. Well, who knows? But we are going to get some big key here. Now, uh, looks like we are taking the path here. That's going to pretty much guarantee that we're not going to see the despawn. Uh, if yeah. you go up the stairs at the exact same time that the torches go out, um, Marty, you missed one. There you go. Uh, then you'll despawn yeah. all the enemies up here, and you'll have to and in the entire tower, and you'll have to re go through the entire thing. Yeah, it's uh, rather unfortunate. 
Yeah, I remember the first time I saw that, I think it was uh, Fred who actually did it, and I'm just sitting there, I'm, I'm confused, like, what? What, what? what happened? Where did everybody go? Didn't that cost him the race, too? Uh, no, I think he won that first one, the one I'm talking about. Okay. Marty not checking chess uh, with the gold sword, figuring that that will be enough. No need for silvers. Alrighty, here we go. We are probably going to get a check of this final treasure chest here because silver arrows are still in play, although I'm expecting the same thing you are. Oh, there they are! <laughs> oh silver to the last God. chest! <laughs> I need to go buy a lottery ticket. I've been on fire today. Oh my God, TG! <laughs> what are the odds? I have no idea, but that's fantastic! We never see that! There was the there were the two chests in the mini Helmosaur room and the chest right before Mulder. They didn't check. I know. Wow. Arrows oh my in the final goodness! Chest. And then set off this Aga gets a double first round. Just barely missed the triple. Wow. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I got nothing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you, CCX, for clipping that. Uh, read my mind. Tiru's got all seven crystals now. He's headed up to in the direction of Ganon's Tower. But uh, this is uh, far too little too late. And the reason I was bringing up the silver arrows being in that last chest is because I was going to say, am I the only one expecting when we get to Ganon saying, did you get the silver arrows in my tower? And, well, yes, we did. <laughs> oh, wow. So, Tiru is probably going to just be heading into GT as Marty finishes up this Ganon fight. Uh... With uh, again asking the important questions about that little fridge, the little light in the fridge. I mean, he makes a valid point. Uh, I mean, I guess it's midnight somewhere. Uh, Marty is going to burn one of his two red potions. He's got the one left, plus I believe he also has the fairy. Uh, yeah, he uh, definitely has that. So, again, always fun. Always fun here because Ganon could be the great equalizer. Again, we've got way too, we've got a full tower to go. But if Ganon decides, I want to knock you off here a couple, three, four, or seven times, then we may have something. We may have something. Uh, Marty did miss the torch glitch. I'm not sure how concerned he is about that. He's going to set up to uh, set up to get the double two. Oh, wow. Marty just absolutely blitzing through this fight and he, uh, one more and he is going to get this last silver arrow hit wow just absolutely fantastic here absolutely fantastic is right Tiru is going to do this uh right side first only to get the bad news <laughs> yeah th there's and no there's bad no news for this Wow. And Dr. Marty is on the 4 and 2. He will live to fight another day with an official uh, SRTV time of 1 hour 48 minutes and 9 seconds. Yeah, um, I, I, I have really not a whole lot to say. I mean, half of this race was just me cackling like a madman between Mafia Lunch and uh lamp and t-rock and you getting the right chest but the wrong number and you know all that fun <laughs> uh so we're gonna see if we can't uh, bring marty in for a quick interview as we see tiru go through the rest of gans tower uh this shouldn't take too uh too much longer uh, he's going to go through this room, pick up a key, go through the same route that Marty did, and uh, similarly equipped, 
Assuming he does check validation chest, he's going to have no problems with Ganon. And with that ding, we do have uh, Dr. Marty here in the uh, commentary booth. Uh, so what about that race? It was quite a race, I have to say that much. It was uh, it threw me for a loop a good few times. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, uh, Tiru has uh, thrown in the towel here. Uh, having oh, has he? Yes, uh, just now. So we'll bring him in, see if we can get a word from him. But very well done on your end, Marty. Yeah, um, the only thing I was thinking was uh, as soon as I saw the silvers up there, his chat must be going mental. Oh, you have no idea because DGE called it a potentially silvers being there right as you were opening it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm well, glad I could oblige them. Yeah, that was just... Warning ahead of time, if you want to go back and watch this, I suggest that there are certain points in the match where you might want to slightly turn down your headphones because I might slightly overreact. Oh dear, what did I do? Well, I did plenty now, but uh, what in particular did I do? <laughs> Nothing, nothing well, you did. Uh, it was just the uh, that that final prediction. Uh, somebody who we're not going to mention any names, Tiru, who might have decided to take their lunch with them on a tour through Skull Woods. That was fun. Oh, by the way, hi, Tiru. Uh, we have Tiru here in the uh, interview GG, booth. GG, Dr. Marty. Thanks very much, Tiru. GG to you. Uh, so, yeah, Tiru, about... Uh, let's talk about... Uh, you apparently needed a late lunch. Well, you, you can't take that into any room that has uh, more than one entrance, so I couldn't go into uh, the middle section. Uh, but yeah, you can do the first couple holes. <laughs> yeah, anything you can fall into uh, is the reason you can take that into Skull Woods. But um, I, I guess I have to, I, I need to bring this up because uh, I find it kind of hilarious. Right before the race, you, me, and Alice were talking about how your favorite item is lamp. Yeah, and, then... and that lamp was, uh, that was, uh, that was uh, definitely interesting. <laughs> Who wants to talk about lamp? Or lack thereof. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't really have a, too much of an issue with the lamp. I, I, I just messed up on my first trip to Eastern and died. I've never died there. Uh, the fire rod, I was all ready to sequence break that, and uh, the lamp showing up at Turtle Rock was, you know, it was nice, but that's, that was an on rail section, so it wasn't a big deal. But, uh, yeah, I do like the lamp. Yeah, and uh, not in the... Yeah, you bailed after dying in Eastern. Marty continued on, found the mirror, uh, which, when he did the purple chest stuff, he... He checked uh, K45, found the boots, and that put him uh, very much on his way towards uh, the right line. But, uh, Tiru, a very interesting... Do you want to take a random guess as to where the silver arrows were? Uh, the other Meyer item? Uh, no. Uh, Greenleaf, you, you should, this is your story. You should explain it. All right, so Marty's going up the tower. And it's gonna be a fun mod to watch, this, isn't it? This is a great, yeah. So Marty's going up the tower. Marty's fighting Moldorm too, and I'm starting my speech of, well, we're gonna get a check here of this final chest because we're still missing silver arrows. And I'm about to say, and we're gonna, he's gonna check, we're not gonna have it, and we're gonna get the message of, did you get the silver arrows in my tower? Before I can even get that out of my mouth, Moldorm 2 chest has silver arrows. <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't, I would, I would never even check that then. <laughs> As we uh, found out, the big key, uh, Marty also took the same right side gamble that you were in the middle of when Marty got done. Um, and it turns out that it was the uh, Stalfos room uh, just to pass the Bob's chest that had the big key. So it was early on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm just not a big fan of um, when someone's like too far behind, you know, just like making them wait. And then doing two interviews. I just like to, you know, get it over with. 
I mean, that's uh, that makes a lot of sense. Um, you you, it didn't seem like you were that far behind, but I, I mean, if you don't want to keep playing, there's really no reason to keep playing. But uh, Tiru, that does drop you to three and three. Uh, you will have a race in the next round, but. It does not seem like it's likely for you to move on. Hopefully, you've had a lot of fun. Well, it's definitely impossible for me to move on. Um, it's based off the strength of your opponents. So if your three losses were to, say, a 7-0 and two six ones, then you have a pretty good chance of being picked. Um, my losses, one of them, too, was a 0-5 that, that is even, isn't even in the tournament anymore. So I'm definitely done. Um, but I'll play the seventh race just for fun. I mean, fun, a little bit of pride, and I mean that's what the—that's a lot of what the randomizer is about. Just having, you know, having fun with it. Meanwhile, Marty up to four and two. Uh, this is going to make a uh, your race in the next round really critical. A win will for sure put you into the knockout stages. How do you feel about that? Quite nervous to be honest, and I was kind of—I was expecting to lose today because uh, I know Tiru is a good runner, and uh, I thought. That's actually quite a relief. I'll be able to re relax now and just enjoy the last match, but now there's the stress of it, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, if, if there was ever execution, you know, if there was ever a race that I absolutely, totally, 100% deserved to lose, it was this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, was, it was a fun seed, and I just executed it really poorly, so... Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to blame anything other than myself. I mean, to be fair, this seed was just bunk dunking on both of you for the longest time. Mm. It really was a matter of just searching absolutely everywhere for all the items you needed. I'm going to guess that I probably had the mitts first. Uh, you did by a bit. You also had the hammer first. Yeah, oh, really? I, I, so I was sequence breaking everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, Jeez, so was I, but I yeah, fake powder. Was that was another interesting seat. Oh, go ahead, TG. I was thinking this entire seed was a sequence break because if you if you followed the logic of what the seed wanted, you had to go to Meyer to get the flippers, to get Bombos, to go into Tony Rock to get the lamp, to go to Eastern to get the uh, mirror, to get the boots, to get the desi. Yeah, the whole seed was a sequence break. Yeah, but who is the patience for that? <laughs> not, no kidding, not right? Us. <laughs> not us. <laughs> Yeah, if I had picked up that, you know, if I hadn't died in Eastern, or even if I had just gone back there and picked up the boots and gotten that mirror, uh, I definitely would have, sorry, I, if, if I, I definitely would have gotten the boots on my initial pass through there and uh, go mode it a lot of those last dungeons. So uh, that, that three hearts and that stupid popo got me. <laughs> yeah, I know the pain well. Thankfully, I managed to get through this time. It's, it's even worse when you don't hit the fire rod, but... Uh... Made life a little bit easier. I can't wait to watch the VOD. I, I hope you, I hope you guys all had fun, all the viewers, and uh, thank you both for commentating uh, Adrenone and the Greenleaf uh, effect. And of course, GG again to Marty. Uh, I really do look forward to, to watching this, and you've definitely earned your progression. So, uh, wish you the best of luck in the five uh, in the four two round. As long as that progression isn't the lamp. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Of course, yes. <laughs> Yeah, thanks very much, guys, uh, for me as well. Obviously, everything Kiru just said, he's clearly well adapted this. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for for a great match and uh, my condolences. And uh, well, if you're not knocked out, yes, but hopefully I'll see you in the next round if I get through too. Uh, yes, uh, everyone in chat, make sure you give our runners a follow. A follow. Uh, Tiru Riku and Dr. Marty Zero. I'd also like to give a shout out to our behind the scenes uh, people. Uh, we had uh, Dark Replica here as our tracker tonight and Cyclone handling the restream. None of this would be possible without uh, either of them, so make sure they deserve a little bit of love as well. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, continuing up, just to give you a little schedule update on what else is coming up here on the Speed Gaming family of networks. Um, starting right now, actually, over on SG2, we have more Link to the Past randomizer action. Uh, then we have a couple things happening at 6 p.m. tonight. Uh, over on Speed Gaming 3, we have got another Link to the Past randomizer. And over on Speed Gaming 1 at 6 p.m. These are all Eastern times, of course. We have the randomizer tournament preview for the Final Fantasy 1 randomizer. So that's definitely something if you have not 
seen it, you need to check out because they, I know for a fact, have done some amazing things with that, including some NPC shuffle. So key items in that are now shuffled. So you're not just going to get, you know, the, the TNT from the... Uh, uh, from the cave in the castle, it, all kinds of things. It's definitely something you want to check out there. If you haven't seen a Final Fantasy One randomizer, the work those developers have been putting in is fantastic. That's uh, very interesting. I know what I'll be doing in about an hour. Uh, so, Greenleaf, anything else you want to say before we uh, put this seed to bed? I love lamp. <laughs> uh, yes, you do. Uh, so from all of us here at the Speed Gaming family of networks, from the racers, the commentators, the restreamers, uh, and everyone behind the scenes, and for all of you in chat who really, if we didn't have, uh, you guys watching us, none of this would have any meaning. But thank you to everyone, and we will see you next time. Good night, and good luck. And keep hailing. <laughs>